It's that time of the month, kids. It's new Abyssrium update day. Yep. So, as always, we start every event by going to the little palette menu. I'm gonna buy the costume. Even though they're always pretty bad. That unlocked a fish immediately, as you can see. And then we're gonna buy the die. Buy the die first, it's the cheapest and it unlocks the hermit crab. But, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Then we're gonna buy the theme. These are permanent unlocks, and they're almost always essential to unlocking things. Hello, Parker. Parker says hello. So, we're just gonna go straight to the hidden fish unlocks. Um, as you can see, my written guide on the left here is pretty much always updated first before the video guides happen. So, always just go to sirtapdap.com, see if I got a new guide out, if there's a new event. Yeah, yes! Hi! Um, sometimes people ask me for a guide literally like within minutes of the thing coming out. In fact, that's pretty much always what happens. <laughs> but, um... Hi, Parker. Yes? <laughs> Special guest appearance by Parker. Um, but uh, I usually have it up within, you know, a few hours of waking up, usually. Ugh. I do I do have to wake up. It, this thing came out at like 3 a.m., I think is the first comment I got about it. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and uh, by the way, um, as always, I'm going to ask you to check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash tap tap. Um, that's a great way to support me, even just a buck a month really helps. You can also support me by clicking that little join button just below the video. Um, that is basically Patreon, but on YouTube you can get special chat emojis for you to spam. You get pretty much the same perks as my Patreon, other than that. It's just on YouTube. You also get a special role in my Discord server. Feel free to check out the Discord as well, there's a link to that in the description. You also get pictures of Parker! My cat that is screeching at me. Yes, you do. You get Parker pictures once a month. I get a bunch of Parker pictures. So, retro blue tang. That is a regular, always unlocked fish. The it's kind of a crossy road ish aesthetic. It's not. It's not as crossy road ripoff as I thought it would be. Um, I was skeptical when I heard about the uh, design thing. They don't look too bad. I kind of take opposition to the term retro. Um, there weren't really retro games that looked like this. Pixelated, yes. Low poly, yes. Um, not quite in this style. This is actually a pretty modern invention. But, um, yeah, not a hidden fish as you can see. Retro Moorish Idol. Cast the Hermit Crab skill five times. You're not going to have any trouble getting that one. Retro Piglet Squid. Equip the retro event costume. Which, again, you know, if, we, if you did what we did before, you get that pretty much immediately. That... Doesn't really look like a squid. It looks like a little chubby earthworm boy, but um, it's cute nonetheless. I like the shifting granules it has there. It's a neat touch. Retro box fish, now genuinely a box. See, I think these. I don't usually like the silly, like exaggerated designs and stuff. Um, I like this. I like the designs of this event a lot, actually. Get gold coins by watching the ad five times, so that just means you go to here, and you gotta click this ad. Just do that five times, you'll get it. Oh, let's get the hermit crab! There he- oh. <laughs> I guess the hermit crab was too detailed for them to, to bother editing up like that. Back to this. They really need to have, like, subcategories for each event and stuff. There's- <laughs> there's way too many. There's 533 species, and you just gotta- scroll through the list it's, it's it doesn't work that well anymore retro puffer level five hermit crab again the first thing you want to do any event is upgrade your hermit crab as soon as possible so in case it's your first event um you gotta click the fish's bubbles the bubbles above their head to get these coins then you can cast the hermit crab the hermit crab gives you most of your coins um the only real way to make hermit crab or her to make coins in events is you cast the hermit crab as fast as possible um, first you got to charge it with 20 clicks of bubbles and then after that every five minutes you can watch an ad and you get a good amount of stuff out of it um, that is the number one way number two way is to just directly watch this ad not quite as good as the hermit crab I think it's about half as effective but it's still effective and it's still um, it's still the second best way 
Um, clicking directly on bubbles does give you one coin each. Uh, it really doesn't make a big difference. It really doesn't matter. You really only click to get the, the, the things for the hermit crab. You can also make him dig. Uh, I think he has to finish. Oh, there he goes. You can make him dig. Sometimes he'll give you, I think once per day, you can get a decent-ish amount of things, like a few hundred. It's really not a big deal, though. It's really not worth all of the tapping. Um, so let's get back to hidden fish. Sorry, kind of trying to balance between... <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, I'm trying to balance between the, the, the new folk that do not know how events work at all and uh, the people that, you know, just want the new hidden fish. So, retro blobfish, use 100 seaweed. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Uh, no fusion fish this time, by the way. There's no prior March fish to get. I, I don't know what the deal is with that. Usually, you can um, go back and get the old fish. This is the first time in quite a while that that has not been the case. I like this guy. This is a good boy. This is a very good boy. Retro sea dragon, take a picture of seven different retro fish. So, that's not too hard. Uh, yes, Barker, that's right. Yes! Retro Flatfish, who is adorable. That, I like that a lot. I like that one a lot. That's that's my favorite one so far. And I really like Sea Dragons, but that is that is adorable. Um, Retro Flatfish, just own five Sea Dragons, not even Hidden Fish. Um, Retro Turtle! He's actually... I kind of like the animation. The jank... The jank in the animation. I like this a lot more than like Minecraft style of thing. Where it's just like boxes and it's like really smooth animations, but like the animations don't really make sense with how the world looks and how the players look. I... It's a little weird. Anyway, Retro Turtle. Um, let's scroll down a little bit here. Place the Retro Tree Expand item. Um, so what that means is that's part of the Expand quest. So you got to do some things to get some Expand items. I'll explain more of that after we're done with these. Retro Baby Penguin, use 200 sea urchins. Honestly, these look a lot better in motion than they do. Um, I saw this guy and I was kind of like, ah, it's just crossy road. Um, but they look a lot better animated than they do as just pictures. <laughs> yeah, there's that smile. There's that smile. Um, Retro Manta Ray, take one picture of Retro Penguin Extension one time. Extension. I think that's a... Oh, that's a, that's an expand item. I was gonna say, like, what? Retro Crocodile. Let's scroll down a little bit. This is my guide here on the left, by the way. This this is where you just find the things. Um, retro Crocodile. Or my written guide, rather. This is my video guide, obviously. Pfft, look at his little legs. He looks like Legos. Um, retro Crocodile. Reach level 10, Hermit Crab. Again, you want to level up as fast as possible. So you'll want to get that pretty quick. These unlocks, not really that bad actually, by the way. Um, there really are not any egregious unlocks this time, which is really a surprise. The last event was pretty rough. Retro Orfish, I don't know what I expected. See, some of these just look more like Legos than they do like pixel art. I guess Legos are, you know, they're blocks. It's kind of like 3D pixel art, but yeah. Um, just own five retro crocodiles. I might have to actually play this event. Haha, <laughs> I probably won't. <laughs> I like these, but these, the, the, the unlocks don't seem that bad. There's nothing like watch a billion ads. Um, or like wait 16 billion years like most of the events have. <laughs> this guy gave us everybody a brief scare. Um, it's not as bad as you think. You just have to cast the crab skill 50 times, which, you know, in any normal event, if you're really grinding to get all the fish, 50 times is a pretty normal to low amount, honestly. You really gotta do it a lot. <laughs> the mouth of doom. There, there it is. <laughs> that's, that's what they look like. Kinda. Just a big ol' suck. Retro Basking Shark used the Song of the Moon skill on a retro crocodile 15 times. I, I guess that just means have a retro crocodile in the tank. You can't really use it on it, but that's what that usually means. Retro shark. <laughs> He's a little bit chunky. He's a chonker. Uh, retro shark. Own five retro basking sharks. Uh, 
Retro Whale. That's just kind of the usual whale unlock. Own all of the species above, own 80 total retro event fish. That's how these always work. That's how they've worked for quite a while. Um, I think these are the premium fish. Oh no, this guy! <laughs> That's pretty cute. The, the yellow color is just a coincidence, obviously. He's just, he's just a regular submarine Dumbo. Um, that is all of the hidden event quests. We will get to that in just a second. Every event has those, so hopefully you're slightly familiar with that. Retro Corgi, you just gotta pay for that one, as, as usual. Retro Baby Corgi, I believe, is just also... Huh, I didn't see any info on this one. I believe that is just related to buying the package as well. Huh. I didn't... Oh, hello. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll pin a comment if I figure out what that is, and it'll definitely be in the guide. Um, hmm. Nobody told me about that one, but like I said, I actually just downloaded it. I don't have this on my phone anymore, so I, I haven't looked at this until literally the moment that I started the video. Um, so, these, the, um, what, which fish was it? Retro turtle. So you gotta own the retro tree that's down here. So what you gotta do is just complete these rewards to get expand items. Um, and then, you know, you get a thing, and you get to move it around, place it. All of the events have a thing like this, so hopefully you're familiar with it. If this is your first time doing an event, you'll do a lot more of this if you continue to play the game. Um, the only thing to note about these, since there are, you know, the, they're unlocked by default, um, you have to do these in order, and progress doesn't start ticking until you get to the step. So this says create five retro blobfish. If I create five retro blobfish right now, it's not going to count, because I haven't finished this yet. So you need to kind of keep up on these and finish the lower ones as fast as possible, because you really want to get to that retro tree, because that takes three days to complete. So if you waste five days before you get to that, you got to wait eight days total, see? So unfortunately you're going to want... Um, th these really aren't that hard. So. You know, you want to get to the retro tree as fast as possible. Then the daily missions, you don't have to just do one. Um, you have to complete all three of these, uh, well, all five of these, rather, and then claim the uh, pearl reward, otherwise it doesn't count. So uh, get to that as soon as you can. Now, finally, for the retro submarine Dumbo, what you have to do is these five little quest thingers. Um, and fortunately, we have those all right here. Um, and just like the other thing, you have to do these in order. So if I were to try to get the retro celeb down here, um, wait, am I missing? Well, I guess I'm glad I noticed that anyway. <laughs> Awkward. So these are all five of the quest steps. So for the first quest, you just need to click on all of the new event fish from the manage fish menu. Notice they're really bad English as always. Hire an editor, guys. Hit me up. Send me an email. I can check this stuff over for you for, I'm sure, a very reasonable fee. Just Or literally anybody that speaks English, honestly. You don't even need a translator. You just need an editor at this point. Uh, anyway. Touch the bubble of Retro Bicolor Angel ten times. Very easy stuff. I don't know why mine says 20, but no. Um, for the second one, place one Retro glass tile, Grass Tile, one Retro Snow Tile, one Retro Water Snow. Uh, tile. Those are all from the expand thing. By the way, these expand items, you can buy more of them. Uh, these are very cheap, by the way, um, which I was hoping they would be because this, I can imagine people making some really cool um, expand things with this. But yeah, you get uh, you can, you get certain amounts of them for free from this when you do the, the quest, and you can buy more from pearls, so it's pretty neat. Um, back to this. So you just need to place one of those tiles. Um, if it doesn't unlock and you already have them placed, you probably just need to take them back and then place them again and then it'll register. Um, retro friends own five retro turtles, own five retro baby penguins, and own five retro manta rays. Uh, again, you probably need to buy those after you unlock the step. That is almost always how that works. Um, once in a blue moon, they'll do an unlock that doesn't do that but usually always expect to need to unlock a thing before progress starts counting um, retro celeb you need to take a picture of 
Retros type Marlin one time. Touch the bubble of Retro Basking Shark 30 times. Again, none of these are that crazy. I would probably still be playing the game if every event was this relaxed. Um, Love Glod. It really does say that. I, I don't know what that means, but it, it apparently says that. Um, spend 30,000 gold coins after this quest unlocks. Own five retro whales. So that sounds like a lot of coins, but remember, the, the whales do cost 18,000 coins. So, yeah. I mean, total cost, still probably moderately high compared to old events, but compared to recent events, this does seem to be one of the cheaper ones. And uh, definitely less hurry up and wait stuff like the last event, so doesn't really seem too bad overall. Um, no weird hiding fish and fusion fish and spending seaweed requirements like other events do, so that is that is welcome. Um, that is pretty much the new event. Um, thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon. Remember to subscribe and click the little bell icon if you want to get notified whenever there's new videos and new events and all that stuff. Um, also, always be sure to check out the written guide on my site. If there's new information, that'll always show up in the written guide first before I can get to a video. So, um, when, whenever we figure out the baby corgi, I'm sure it has something to do with buying the package. In fact, let me take a look here. Oh, oh, it's right there. Oh, no, it's just an in-app purchase. See, I knew it would be. Why does it say question mark, question mark then? This just should, should say buy the special package. That's whatever anyway thanks for watching everybody all right gamers remember to like subscribe and smash that bell frog what are you doing in my house i i, I would just get out ah!